Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about how to combine like terms. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. To combine like terms, we first have to identify which terms are alike, and then we can put them together, and then we can combine them. So what does it mean to have a like term? Well, let's go use an example here to discover this. We have an operation here to simplify 2x squared plus 3x plus 7 plus x squared plus 4x plus 5. And we have to combine the like terms here to simplify. Well, first let's go identify which terms are alike here. Well, first let's go see which ones have what I call the x squared. <laughs> Everyone calls the x squared. We have 2x squared going on here. Well, another like term with that is something else that has an x variable squared. And that's going to be this, that 1x squared. Now, I don't see anything else that has an x squared on it. So now I'm going to move on to the next one I see, a 3x. Really, that's 3x to the first power going on there. Is there anything else that has x to the first power? Well, that's going to be this 4x, 4x to the first power. Moving on, we just have a simple number, just 7 here, and that's left here. And another one that's just a number is, well, 5. Now remember, little note, we can rewrite that as 7x to the 0 power. So it's kind of a way to see that there. Second power, first power, 0 power. No power. <laughs> all right, so now we've identified all of our, well, different like terms. Let's reorder them so they are next to each other. Oh, get my markers in line here. So we have 2x squared and x squared are our like terms. It's all addition, so it's pretty easy. We have 2x squared plus my x squared. Now, I definitely want you to, when you're first learning this, to take these steps and follow along. As you get better, you'll be able to skip around and jump, but to really learn this, uh, it takes practice to get it down. All right, let's go with the x squareds now. We'll do it in blue. We have, well, 3x to the first power, and then 4x to the first power right here. All right. Lastly, we have, oh, what is it in pink? I don't need my green with me anymore. Uh, not pink, orange, whoops, orange. We have the seven right here, and then the five. And we've brought them all down. So now they're all next to each other. It's pretty easy to combine our like terms. Let's start with the first one here. 2x squared plus a 1x squared is that 3x squared. Pretty easy right there. Now, next we have, well, 3x plus 4x. We're looking at the coefficients again. And 3x plus 4x is a 7x. Pretty easy. And lastly, we have the 7 and the 5. 7 and 5 come out to be a good old 12. And there we have it. I can circle it in green here. We've learned how to combine like terms with a basic expression. We rearrange our terms, we combine our like terms, and we got a final solution here as 3x squared plus 7x plus a 12. I hope this video was helpful for you and you learned how to combine like terms in a basic form. If you did, make sure you like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. This helps us make more of these free math videos for you and for everyone else. So, as always, Thanks for watching.